In seven out of the last eight games for LSU, they sent the opposing team home early each time by 10 run ruling them and against Samford was no different. The Tigers only played seven innings in each game against Samford and while they would rather play a full game, there aren't many downsides to run ruling. I know what we're going to do. Tell them not to score and not to throw shutouts. And I mean, I, I, I'm proud of the team. And it's just something we can't control. The LSU bats seem contagious as they tallied 10 homers and 36 runs over the Bulldogs in their three game series. The pitching rotation was also strong. The entire weekend rotation racked up 30 strikeouts and only allowed two runs the entire series. It's, it's awesome to be able to hit with our pitchers because we know, like, when we put our primes, it's going to be really hard for our team to be able to score, so we can just continue to power. The real test will come for the purple and gold in less than one week when conference play begins. And Coach Johnson feels this team is confident and prepared for what's coming. If, if it's not high, I don't, I don't know anything about confidence. I mean, they're, they're, uh, they're focused. I mean, this is not an ordinary group of people, and, and I don't mean that from a, just a baseball talent standpoint. LSU will take on UNO at home on Tuesday before traveling to College Station to open up SEC play against Texas A&M on Friday. Reporting at Alec Box Stadium for Tiger TV Sports, I'm Bree Andrus.